Now, occasionally we have people who download Blue Book, they're able to successfully download it, but when they go to sign in with their College Board student account, they put in their school email address, they put in the password that they think it would be, and they have an issue, and even when trying to go to forgot password, just something happens that doesn't enable them to move forward. Now, if that's the case, I would definitely go to your school counselor and try to get to the bottom of it, because we have nothing to do with College Board. We simply use it because it's an excellent resource. However, what you can do is go to collegeboard.org and then just create a new account. And the reason I would do that is for your actual practices that you're going to be doing with us in weeks one, four, seven, and nine. And then even beyond that, because they do have now at the time of this recording, I believe six practice tests, and I'm sure they're going to keep increasing them. With us, you'll complete four, and then you'll have extra ones to complete afterward. So you would go to student, and then you would go ahead and fill in the information. And it's up to you if you want to stay connected. I probably wouldn't. You put in this information, and then it should enable you to create an account. Again, I think it's really important that you still get to the bottom of figuring out how to log into your school associated College Board account, because that's where if you're taking a school day test day, that's where you'll get the results. And then I'm sure there's various other uses there. But for our purposes, you'll still be able to do your practice test just like normal if you create a new account. So as always, let me know if you have any questions. And remember, you got this.